Hi, this is Paul Savetta of Windows Phone Central. Here with a head-to-head -head video review of Cut the Rope and Spider Jack for Windows Phone. Both are Xbox Live games. Now I've got Spider Jack on the Lumia 920 here, but I don't have all the levels unlocked, so we'll just switch over to the good old Samsung Focus. Cut the Rope is an extremely popular puzzle game. The uh, iOS version was one of the fastest selling games ever. Now, the game starts out with this mysterious little creature named Omnom appearing on your doorstep. All he wants to eat is candy. As you can see, uh, it loads just a little bit slowly on Windows Phone 7. That's one advantage that Spider Jack has. Anyway, it's a simple game. You just cut the rope and get the candy to fall into Omnom's mouth. That's how you beat the level. As a secondary goal, you're also trying to get all three stars that each level contains. These stars contribute towards achievements and also help you unlock future levels. So let's see. Jump to a new set of levels. Cut the rope has some interesting gadgets that you'll have to use in certain levels. So let's see. Here first, I get the candy to go into a bubble. Then I blow it over and it makes its way to Om Nom's mouth. The levels are nice and short. They're very well suited to mobile play. They're not all very easy. In fact, some of them are quite hard. Let's look at a few different variations. One nice thing about the achievements in this game are that you do not need to three star every level. You will need to three star a number of them, but not all of them. You can still get the full gamer score, and that's nice. Especially important because this game has a ton of levels. There are 11 sets of 25 levels each. That's 275 levels in total. But you can get all of the achievements by the time you reach the fifth set of levels. So um, sometimes there's more than one rope. This is a Valentine level. You have to combine these pieces of candy. And there we go, they're together. Cut the rope can get pretty hard on some levels, but you always have the option of skipping a level and coming back to it later. The only thing you really have to do is collect enough stars to unlock the next batch of levels. The game only costs a dollar. It's a lot of fun, and um, basically it's just a must-buy whether you're on Windows Phone 7 or 8. Now here's Spider Jack. Spider Jack actually released a little bit earlier on Windows Phone than Cut the Rope did. It's a similar style of game. Right now there are five batches of levels with 25 levels each, so that's 125 total levels, making it a shorter game than Cut the Rope. So here the objective is to get the spider named Jack to the fly for him to eat. In this one, you can actually control um, how he latches onto anchors and then cut the line, causing him to go where you want. So you have greater control over Jack, which changes the dynamics of the game. And I appreciate that a little more than Cut the Rope style. There we go. There's a cute little animation of him eating right at the end. So I like the music a little bit better. It loads faster and that's always nice. And it just plays a little bit differently. In my opinion, it's a bit easier. And so, um, even though it's not as long, it's just slightly more fun to me. Now on the downside, Spider Jack costs $2.99. That's three times more than Cut the Rope. So um, the, the publisher Electronic Arts would really be wise to cut the price and make it more competitive with Cut the Rope. But if you've already got the Cut the Rope and you want something slightly different but still in the same hemisphere to play, Spider Jack is still a great buy. It's a lot of fun and the achievements are relatively easy to boot.
Thanks for watching. Read our full head-to-head -head review at wpcentral.com.